welcome to another episode of CryptoMinder, guys. Today we'll be analyzing what is happening in the Bitcoin chart. We're going to be explaining everything from the higher time frames until the small ones, until the four hour chart. We're going to be checking out the price action that we have at this point, what most of the people expect, but what is our plan? What is the next step we are watching at right now? So as far as you can see, we are on the BLX chart now on the weekly chart. What we are watching is this insane chart that I have been pointing for many, many, many times, guys. And I have been actually measuring exactly the points where I'm expecting a breakout and of course a confirmation most likely to these levels. As far as you can see, we are identically going to the right direction, guys. As far as you can see, look at these guys. Uh, it's actually insane what we are pointing, what I have been pointing from back in here is actually happening. We are exactly in the levels that I have been uh, showing to everyone and I actually posted in my Twitter account, you can go and find actually the date is absolutely crazy. And this is what I'm expecting right now. So as far as you can see, this falling wedge right here, and of course the consolidation we have been watching, I'm actually gonna be pointing also in this chart, even better guys. As far as you can see, the consolidation and everything that is happening regarding the price action at these levels is the fact that we are creating some kind of market structure that this doesn't really make sense. So what we see is that a little bit kind of confusion at this point. So this is almost, almost the same, I would say, th with what is happening right now. So as far as you can see, also another head and shoulder pattern that never got accomplished. And I said to everyone, guys, this is not a bear flag that many people have been uh, talking about and have been explaining the reasons why it's not a bear flag. This was an ascending or a rising wedge, whatever you want to say, that broke towards the downside and of course, Pay the shorters. Now, it's good what is happening at this point. Those are the two plans we're going to be checking very, very, very soon. But right now, what I see is a falling wedge, okay, of course. And this is what I'm going to be giving all my attention and also in the four hour chart later on. So, as far as you can see, what is happening is that we have a very nice structure here that many people cannot really realize because they say, what in the world is happening? As far as you can see, this is not actually head and shoulder pattern anymore. It got invalidated down here. Why? Because the four touching points that we actually needed for the, for, uh, for the head and shoulder pattern didn't really uh, show like it broke towards the downside. So if we were about to check these levels, this could actually go and land to the approximately 12,000, uh, 14,000 or something like that. So this didn't happen. Eventually, we are reversing back. And the two plans we are going to be checking out as well is as far as you can see also on the four hour chart right here, guys. What we see is that we are going and heading to what's the upper side. Now, of course, we have crucial levels here to watch. And yes, this kind of uh, levels could be massive resistance points. And that's why I'm actually uh, holding the number one target where I'm pointing right now. And this is the first scenario I'm going to be explaining, of course, the second one as well. What I want to see. Uh, is that after we are reaching the number one level, a further price towards the downside and reaching approximately 16.7 wouldn't be a stress, in my opinion. And I would expect a very, very, very fast move. So let's say that we are diving, uh, Bitcoin is diving all the way towards the downside. I would expect a further price action towards the upper side and of course reaching back in here so we can come and create a higher low. So we can see a breakout out of this uh, falling wedge right here. So as far as we see, of course, we are not going to reach directly to the number five uh, that I'm pointing right now. But what I'm expecting is that we could have another breakout right here. Now, if this is going to come, of course, and consolidate for a while. Yes, this could be uh, the plan most likely to happen. But why I'm targeting the number five is that because after that, I am expecting that no matter what is happening, we'll see further price action to what's the upper side and a kind of hope for the people that they want to see uh, Bitcoin to further prices towards the upper side. It's going to be a short moon, I would call it, uh, for a while so we can see a little bit more of um, happiness in the market because, yes, guys, even if uh, S&P 500 and Nasdaq will collapse, it's not going to happen so fast. It's going to take some time now. Uh, as far as you can see, the inflation and everything that is happening right now is uh, going to be the first priority because the interest rates in the market, there will be a secondary priority. So uh, it's going to take more than a year until we see uh, better prices in the S&P 500 and NASDAQ. 
uh, if we'll see a kind of small relief rallies towards the upper side of course this is inside the schedule and this could also happen now as far as you can see what is happening in the bitcoin price the second scenario of what i'm pointing right now is of course continuation of this breaking a little bit towards the a here and of course the b as far as you can see the key level support at the 16.5 and the 15.7 i have been speaking multiple times about this kind of this uh, support right here it's what i am pointing at this is the key level support what i'm actually very confident with many things will happen down here uh, in case we are breaking sooner rather than later so yes this is the two uh, actually options that I have in my mind right now and I'm gonna be keeping posting this chart as well on my Twitter account guys so you can actually go and see it even better so uh, this is the whole uh, key plan that I have right now for the Bitcoin price a lot of consolidation in the plans for now and yes I wouldn't expect any kind of crazy breakouts or anything like that until uh, mid of November so we could see some further price action towards the upper side later on by the first uh, quarter of 2023 so this is what i'm actually checking right now i i cannot say um, that we will see another leg towards the upper side when it comes to uh, by by december or until christmas i think we'll see further price action uh, to the key level supports and resistances and this is what actually uh, the market is doing right now and it's going to continue maybe a little bit more now thank you so much for watching if you appreciate the content go scroll smash this like button subscribe to the channel press the bell button for all notifications so you get this very nice first content we are sharing every time with you guys and i hope i see you in the next one of crypto minder bye bye